the 1920s classic children's book series, Uncle Wiggily's Adventures, written by Howard R. Garris, illustrated by Lang Campbell, and read by Grandma Nana. Thank you for joining Uncle Wiggily and I, Uncle Wiggily's Silk Hat, Adventure One. One day, Uncle Wiggily, dressed in his best, started out to look for an adventure. The rabbit met Uncle Butter, the goat gentleman, who never cared much for style. Why do you wear a tall silk hat, Uncle Wiggily? The goat gentleman asked. What's the use of being so fancy? A tall silk hat may stylish be and also useful as you shall see, he answered. Just as Uncle Wiggily told the goat gentleman that tall silk hats were useful, along came Susie Littletail, the rabbit girl. Oh, boo-hoo, sobbed Susie. There's a hole in the pail and all the milk is running out. Uncle Wiggily took off his nice shiny hat and said, Never mind, Susie. I'll save the milk for you. Uncle Butter gave a loud bleat. Mr. Longears, cried the goat gentleman. What are you doing? I am going to save Susie's milk. That's what I'm going to do, answered the rabbit gentleman. He placed his tall silk hat on the ground and into his hat he poured the milk from the leaky pail. There you are, Susie, cried jolly Uncle Wiggily. Only a little of your milk ran out. I'll take the rest home for you. Then Uncle Butter and I are going to have a boat ride on the duck pond. After taking the milk home for Susie and drying out his hat at Mrs. Littletail's fire, Uncle Wiggily started off again with Uncle Butter. They reached the duck pond where a monkey doodle gentleman let them get in his boat to have a ride. All of a sudden, when they were a long way from shore, the monkey stopped rowing and cried, Oh, we are sinking. There's a leak in the boat and I can't dip out the water. What's that, cried the bunny gentleman, a leak in the boat? The monkey sorrowfully said there was. What can we use to dip out the water while we rowed ashore, asked Uncle Butter. Why, my tall silk hat, of course, laughed Uncle Wiggily. If it holds milk, it will hold water. So he bailed out the boat while the goat and the monkey rowed to shore, and Jackie Bow Wow watched them. Uncle Wiggily's hat was so useful dipping the water out of the leaking boat that it did not sink, and the bunny and goat were soon safely on shore. But there they found more trouble. Jackie Bow Wow's bag of sugar had burst, and all the sweet grains were running out on the ground. Oh, Uncle Wiggily, what shall I do? asked the puppy dog boy. Mother will scold me for spilling her cake sugar. Quick, Uncle Butter, cried the rabbit gentleman, as he saw what had happened. You hold up the bag of sugar, and I'll catch the grains in my hat. We'll save most of it. So the goat gentleman held the bag, which Jackie handed him, and Uncle Wiggily thrust his hat under the stream of sugar. The wind and hot sun had soon dried the bunny's hat, so the sugar wouldn't be sticky. Everything was fine. I see Jackie Bow Wow licking up the sugar. I wonder what his mom would think about that. Uncle Wiggily took his hat full of sugar to Jackie's house for the little doggy boy, and Mrs. Bow Wow, the dog lady, thanked the bunny. I never knew how useful a tall silk hat could be, she said, nor I agreed Uncle Butter. I rather made fun of Uncle Wiggily, but I never will again. Then the two animal gentlemen went to call on Mrs. Twistytail, the pig lady, who had been picking flowers. Oh, I am so glad to see you, gentlemen, grunted Mrs. Twistytail, as Uncle Wiggily and Uncle Butter came up the steps. I wish I had a vase in which to put these blossoms. Uncle Wiggily took off his hat. Use this, he said. Fill it with water and put the blossoms in. It's a regular vase. Mrs. Twistytail said it was. Uncle Butter suddenly ran away. I'm going to buy me a tall silk hat, he called back.
Now, a silk hat is a fine thing, but I don't know that I'd be putting water and sugar and use it as a base. But an Uncle Wiggly will do what an Uncle Wiggly does. That was a fun story. Thank you for joining Uncle Wiggly and I. I see you, I love you, and I will miss you until I see you again. <laughs>